Hello, my name is Sean Simpson. I'm a strength and conditioning coach, and this is the Get Fit, Stay Fit fitness segment of the month. Now today, we're gonna to be starting a series on strength and conditioning for athletes. And with that being said, I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite unilateral or single leg exercises. Uh, unilateral exercises are gonna make up the foundation for the leg work that I do with my athletes. Uh, number one reason for that is gonna be injury prevention. Okay, I would never want to send an athlete out on the floor in a basketball game in, in a situation where their right leg is much stronger than their left. All right, we're going to have a huge imbalance with that. And as a result, we can have injury stem from that. And that's what we're trying to prevent. As a coach, my number one focus or emphasis has to be on the safety of my athletes. Additionally, uh, keeping with that thought, I want to make sure that my athletes are powerful off each leg individually, no matter what sport they're playing. I want to make sure that they can jump off each leg individually. And even more importantly, I want to make sure that they can land and absorb force off each leg individually. And then also, we want to train them functionally. We want to make sure that we're training them not as bodybuilders, but as athletes. And we're going to prepare them for what they're going to have to do on the field or on the floor. And then finally, as humans, uh, whether we realize it or not, we spend a big majority of our day on a single leg. Okay, so whether we're walking in a linear line or whether we're going up the steps or running or jogging, uh, we've got one foot in contact with the ground and one leg off. So we want to make sure that we train and practice as we play, so to speak. All right, assisting me today with the unilateral exercises is going to be Mr. John Maybank. John's actually going to be going overseas in about five weeks to play some professional basketball. Uh, him and I have been working together for the past half year or so, and he can tell you that a big foundation of our leg work again is going to be from unilateral exercises. And we've got great benefit from that. So we're going to show you right now a couple of the exercises that we use on a uh, regular basis. So the first one's going to be a TRX single leg squat. So I'm going to go ahead and ask John to load up on one leg, whichever leg he wants to go off of. He's going to go ahead and descend into a squat, couple things that we're looking for. Number one, I want to make sure that his knee stays behind his toe. Go ahead and go back up, John. Again, he's doing a good job with that. His knee's in line with his ankle. Again, we're protecting the knees by keeping the knee behind the toe. Also, I'm going to try to get him to go down to a 90 degree angle, which he's doing so. Good job. One great thing about the TRX single leg squat, and John, just keep going here, is number one, I can use it as an assessment tool. When I have guys after the season come to me, I can test out which leg's stronger. Are they gonna be stronger on the left or the right? All right, let's go ahead and switch. Let's go to the right leg. We'll take a look at that. All right, good, that's a good squat there. Another thing that we're looking for, just keep going. I'm looking to see if his knees are caving in at all. Okay, we're trying to prevent that. As you can tell here, John's equally strong on both legs, and as an athlete, that's what we're looking for. All right, the next exercise that we're gonna show you is gonna be the rear foot elevated split squat. So what I'm gonna ask John to do, he's gonna put his foot on the bench, and this is a standard bench press, or he can use an 18 inch box. His laces are gonna be down, and I'm gonna ask him to go ahead and descend into a squat. Again, what we're looking for is I wanna make sure that his knee's staying behind his toe. Go ahead and come back up, just keep going there. And I wanna see if his knee's gonna stay in line with his ankle. That's what we're looking to do. All right, great. Not only is this a great leg exercise, again, we're talking about unilateral or single leg exercises, but he's also gonna get a good stretch out of it so we can get more bang for the buck here. All right, let's do a couple more. Good. Another thing that I'm looking for as far as a teaching cue, I wanna make sure his chest is out. So we say big chest. Okay, we're trying to protect the spine. As far as progressions, so go ahead and switch legs. A couple of things you can do is just start off again with body weight. It's challenging just doing that. Another thing that you can do is add two dumbbells. One that we love right now is we're doing an offsetting. So he would hold a dumbbell in the opposite hand of the leg that's working. Very challenging there. Just add some core stability into it as well. All right, the next exercise that we're gonna be showing is a single leg RDL. Again, keeping in with the uh, unilateral work. Well, I'm gonna make sure that John's gonna load up on one leg here. He's gonna bend his knee just slightly. And I'm gonna ask him to go down, keeping his back straight. You stay flat like a tabletop, good gonna hold the dumbbell in the opposite hand of the leg that's working. Go ahead and come back up. He's gonna to try to keep the weight close to him. Again, let's see it again. Great thing about the single leg RDL, obviously we're gonna be getting some leg work and we're getting good work because we're getting posterior chain. So in the back, we're working his glutes and his hands. That's great to prevent injury in the knee. All right, we usually have an imbalance there between the quad and the hamstring. So this is great work here. Again, Trying to keep his eyes looking forward. His head's not straight down. He's looking forward. Good. But not only are we getting the strength aspect, we're also getting balance in here as well. He's firing off everything from his ankles all the way up through his hips there. All right, let's go ahead and switch. All right, again, his 
knees just a little bit bent. We'll come back up, back leg straight, trying to keep the back flat like a tabletop. When we first started, John's had some trouble with his right ankle. And so we've really worked hard on that, working on the balance. And it's something that we've really made some great uh, benefits from this. All right, now we're gonna show you the overhead lunge. It's a forward lunge. John will go ahead and put the weights up above him. Just go ahead and go out into a forward lunge here. This is just a standard forward lunge. Go ahead and come back. Only thing that we're doing differently, and I absolutely love this exercise, is he's gonna be using some shoulder stability as well. He's holding the dumbbells up above him there. All right, again. Chest is out, we're looking for a big chest. When he lunges, we're always gonna keep the knee behind the toe. Very important that we're doing that. Good, let's do a couple more. Great, big chest, good, one more. All right, great. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch up, do the left leg. Good job, John, good. All right, now we're gonna go into a three-way, multi-directional lunge. Notice John's gonna go out into a forward lunge, then he's gonna go out to a lateral lunge, and then he's gonna open up, which we call a rotational or a transverse plane lunge. All right, very important, especially in the sport of basketball, that we're training not just going forward, but we're gonna go in different planes. Lateral is very important especially in defense. We're gonna make sure that we're working on that. And then also the transverse plane. A lot of people just train in the frontal plane or the sagittal plane. We wanna make sure that we're doing some rotational stuff as well. John's doing a great job of that. Again, anytime we lunge, the knee's gonna stay behind the toe. Chest out, I'm gonna always say big chest. So I wanna see the numbers on his jersey, if you have a jersey on. Good, let's do the last one here and then switch up. Good job, John. Also, again, we're working on some flexibility here. So this is a great exercise. All right, let's go ahead and switch up. Great thing about this exercise as well is we've started off, I've just taught him how to do a proper forward lunge, then a lateral lunge, and then also a transverse, and now we put it all together. All right, and that's what we want to do, put them all together. Three-way, multi-directional lunge here. All right, we just finished up with our unilateral uh, leg exercise routine. Uh, can't express enough importance, especially for training athletes, of training them unilaterally. Again, we do bilateral work, which means off two legs or two feet. Uh, but as athletes, we want to make sure, again, that we're training them functionally for the sport that they're going to be playing. And John here has got great results from the routine that we've been doing for the past six months, and we're really happy with that. And so we look forward to seeing big things from him. So stay tuned next month as we continue with our programming on strength and conditioning for athletes, as we're going to be doing a series on prehab exercises for athletes. Thanks.